thanks for uh, watching this video. I'd like to talk a little bit about um, flow breathing, something I call flow breathing, um, which is basically a way to observe your breath, learn from it, and to eventually be able to apply it to um, great control of the air, uh, advanced techniques for uh, wind players and for singers, but it can also be used as uh, kind of a meditation technique, an awareness technique, just to um, monitor stress and possibly control um, stress and mood. So, lots of uh, possible applications. But the basic technique um, involves starting by lying on your back in uh, what what is called constructive rest, but basically it means an alert resting position. It's not a nap, uh, not really a meditation. It's an awareness um, while you're lying down in a resting position. So I'm going to um, lie down now and sort of demonstrate uh, what the basics are of this this technique and uh, to give you an idea. Uh, all right, so flow breathing. Start by lying on your back, on a rug, or on a yoga mat like I have. Find a comfortable position. Feet flat on the floor, knees bent. Let a few breaths just sigh out, relax, you know, into each exhale. Uh, sometimes I like to stretch my shoulders up together and then sort of let them flop out to the side so that the shoulders are nice and wide. Uh, some people are more comfortable putting their hands or arms down like this or on their stomach. Either is, is okay. I like to have my arms uh, straight out. So after you, uh, you know, relax for a few breaths, we'll begin to be aware of, of what the breaths are doing. And I remind you that part of this is, is to stay alert, to stay in the room. So that what I mean by that is a, a conscious effort to sort of observe the physical aspects of the room and to be in the room yourself, be present. The reason for this that particular alertness is to prevent you from uh, focusing inwardly and self-consciously on the breath, uh, thereby interfering with it. The purpose of this is to sort of observe the breath from an indirect point of view, as if you're looking at a dim star late at night and you have to watch it from a little, a little away. So a few breaths. And at the end of the exhale, next exhale, please just observe and notice that uh, there's a slight pause there. Just relax into that silence at the end of the breath. You can imagine yourself uh, deflating like a doll or something, and you know, all the stress and tension in your arms and legs is just deflating along with the air. The next step is to extend that pause at the end of the breath. What do I mean by that? By simply not doing anything and by remaining alert in the room at the end of the breath, I just stay still without holding anything and the breath just rests there at the end. The, actually what's happening is you're still exhaling, and um, air is moving very slowly out of your lungs, um, partly because of gravity. The whole thing is just slowly deflating, uh, just like a balloon or, or a blow-up doll. Um, you may not feel the motion, but it is actually happening for quite a while after you uh, feel the air leaving you. Okay, so rest at this point 
flow is as comfortable, and then when when an inhale wants to come, let it come. So I'll demonstrate the extended pause. And you know, if you're uh, an anxious person, you may only be able to pause um, five seconds. Um, I've been practicing this for a while, so I can now pause for. 40 seconds at the end of the exhale before the next inhale. So I'll do maybe about 10 seconds. So that was one. That was one breathing cycle. Um, so the point is to give yourself time, uh, ten minutes or so, and just extend the pause at the end of every breath, and just notice. Basically, you want to just become aware of what's happening, how long it is, um, seeing if you can extend it a little bit further, uh, one or two seconds each time. Or if not, that's okay. Um, and uh, if you if you begin to enjoy this this cycle of the breath, you'll start to also notice that on the next inhale, just before it happens, in other words, at the end of the sort of pause at the end of breath, there's a wonderful opening um, feeling that can happen. It may not happen with you right away, but um, if you just let your breath come in without trying to inhale. There is a motion that I call the top down all at once inhale. And it's really your body just springing open in a natural motion, which is a coordination of many, many different motions. You know, ribs and muscles and, and diaphragm and, and uh, spine, the spine gathers. Um, but without getting too much into details, um, the way that breath feels when it comes in will actually give you a great awareness of what a quality, really good quality breath is. And um, you'll be able to apply this uh, to music playing. Um, and then we'll, you know, in the next steps, the more advanced steps, we would begin to notice the top part of the breath as it turns to the uh, exhale. But that's a more advanced exercise. <coughs> so, um, Flow breathing basically is an awareness technique for the breath, which begins by noticing the pause at the end of the breath while lying down. And then the next step is to begin to notice the return to an inhale from that pause and the top down all at once motion and the way it feels in your body, uh, not the way it looks or the way you think it should be, it's the way it feels. Um, and once you're aware of that natural top down all at once inhale, then you can begin to start to notice the return to an exhale from the top of the breath. And that top turn, you just need to, don't try to inhale too much, don't try to inhale too deeply. In other words, don't force a big inhale when you do feel that top down all at once inhale. It may go to 80% of your lung capacity or whatever. The idea is to, to keep the turn as smooth as possible. So let the inhale just immediately return to an exhale. And by that, by doing that, you don't, you won't interfere with the motion. It's, it's very easy to mess up the, emo the motion at the top turn of the breath by holding it in or by trying to force it to exhale. We just want for first to just notice uh, and try to encourage a smooth turn from inhale to exhale, okay? So those are the basic motions of the breath, noticing the turns from the exhale to the inhale and the inhale to the exhale. That's the basic flow breathing technique. Um, the motions that happen will be described in detail in, in future posts and videos on this subject, but uh, I thought I'd just give you a quick and short introduction to the basic ideas of flow breathing. Um, in the next video, uh, I talk about suspension support and suspension support is basically an extension of the top curve
from inhale to exhale, slowing down the exhale in a very systematic um, you know, uh, series of steps so that you don't interfere with the natural motions, but that you gain more control over that exhale. And of course, any wind player understands, or even any singer understands that this is the critical point where we uh, begin to control our air in a way that's useful uh, to us as, as a musician, as a player. All right, thanks for listening. Uh, see you next time. Bye.